Hi, welcome to this SSRS tutorial video and today we're going to talk about writing functions that we can reuse in our report. So it might be that you've got a report with lots of columns and you might want to use the same expression on multiple columns. So rather than using the same expression over and over again, um, we, can, we can add code behind our report so you can call that you need to create it only once and you call it uh, within the expression so that you aren't duplicating code. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how we do this um, and maybe this will give you an idea of how you could possibly use it on your own reports. So if we look at this report here, it's a, it's a very basic report purely created just for this tutorial video. I've got two columns, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got two columns the employee column and the office manager column that are just numbers and actually I want them to be formatted so rather than just being numbers like that I want them to be five characters big with zero padding um, to make them all kind of uniform so I can do that by creating an expression so if I come into here um, if I go to expression I can do a couple of things so first of all let me add the, the padding so if I just say um, equals and I will create a string of zeros here I only want them to be five and then I'll say um, plus then I've got my value here now my value right now is a, is a number and I can't uh, for this concatenate here this plus I can't have a string and a number so I need to cast this as a string um, which I can do using, if I just click OK on that, we should see now that I've got padded zeros, which is all kind of fine, but some of them are actually bigger than others, and I want them to be five characters big. So what I need to kind of do to finish this off is I need to right click, and I need to select right and five. Now, this CSTR and this write are common functions. So down here within text, you've got the C, uh, well, certainly you've got the write. Um, there's write and the CSTR is in this conversion bit. I've talked about functions in a previous video. I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. So now what this write is doing is it's saying the result of, of this here, just get me the right hand five characters so that should tidy up our column okay nice and I can do the same thing on this office manager column um, I've now got to right click on here go to expression and build it like I did however there is the opportunity of, of creating this as a separate function in the report and calling it so I'm going to do that now so if I right click here now then before I do that um, you've got to right click on this grey space here on this report and you've got to choose report properties. So if your report is big, if your report's huge like this, um, this isn't going to do it for you. You've got to right click on this grey bit here and choose report properties. When you're in report properties, you get this box up. Um, you'll have to excuse these fonts. Um, it, it's, um, it's because of my Surface Pro. Um, if I go to code here, this is where I build my function. Now I'm going to type this function directly into here. Uh, and my function is going to be a public function. I'm going to call it pad zeros because that's what it's, it's for. And I'm going to give it a parameter. My parameter is going to be called p int, and it is an integer. Um, because it's a function, it's going to return a value, and that value is going to be a string. Now, I'll put an end function here. I want to declare a, a, a variable. I'm going to call it str param, and it is a string. I'm going to say str param equals, and then I'm going to build what I was doing before in my expression. Um, and but instead of putting my column name, I put my variable name in. 
sorry, my parameter name. Um, and then I'll return my string. So what this is doing, it's accepting a, a parameter, which will be the column name. It's going to return a string. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this um, value and it's going to add it to this right logic here, which is what we've already seen in, in the previous expression. So it's going to assign the result of this right statement here to my new declare variable. And then I want to return the result of that variable. So if I click OK, now in order to use that, if I right click on Office Manager and I go to Expression, instead of me now typing my expression, what I need to type is code dot and the name of my uh, function, which is pad zeros. And then in brackets, I surround the column um, value, which is going to be my parameter. Now if I click OK, this should work. He says, hopefully. Yeah, there you go. There's all of that. So if I come back to here, and I now change this, I don't want that expression anymore. Um, so instead of this expression, um, let's just go back to how it was. And instead, I'm going to reference my new code, pad zeros. Now, although there's a, a red underline here, it's fine. Um, it, it does recognize it. Uh, so if I click OK to that, we should now get the same the same logic here so the results haven't changed seemingly but it's, it is using a different um it's not using the expression anymore it's using my function now the good thing about this is let's say i'm looking at this and i think actually it shouldn't be five it should be six characters big so they should pad the zeros to make it six characters i don't need to find each column that has the expression i just need to go to my uh report properties, go to my code, and I can just change it in here and say, let's make that six. And if I go back to my preview, you'll see that they're now six characters big. So that's good. Um, in this example, yes, it's only two columns, but like I said, you might have lots and lots of columns in which case this is gonna save you a lot of time. Now let's think about it, uh, a different example. So I've got this active column that says whether my employee is active or not. Uh, true or false. I don't want it to say true or false. I want it to say yes or no. The same with this column here, office active. So I'm going to create a new function. So I'm going to right click my, my this gray bit here. I'm going to go to report properties. I'm going to go to code. And I'm going to create a new function. So this is going to be a public function. Uh, it's going to be called yes, no. And it's going to accept a string parameter. You can call these what you like. Um, it's going to be a string and it's going to return a string. Now I'm going to declare a new variable. Um, we'll call it str yes no. And it's a string. And I want to say if uh, my parameter which is PSTR equals true then str yes no equals yes else str yes no equals no and I've got to do an end if and then I return my new variable str yes no so if I click OK on that, I should now be able to reference it directly in here. So if I come to here and I do code dot yes no, which is the name of my function, and I click OK, this should no longer be true or false. It should be yes or no. Perfect. So you can see the yeses and noes. And I'll do the same here. Um, and I will say equals code dot yes no 
and preview that. Fabulous. And what it means is now that I've got this set up, if I come to here and say, actually, I don't want it to be yes and no, I want it to be um, active, inactive. Then it's as simple as that. And when I rerun this, both of my columns will be changed because I've changed that one function. I hope you can appreciate how that can be used, whether you've got examples of how you can use it yourself, um, but how much time it could potentially save you. That's the end of this video. Please, if you've got any questions or any comments that will be appreciated, um, please leave them um, below. Thanks so much for your time. See you next time.